Okay, this video is a video tutorial uh, with EZC. My name is uh, Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic High School. And what I'm going to teach you right now is, is how to start a new competition um, project. Now, when it says new competition project, and you go file, new competition project, you're going to see this field here, a field controlled competition. I'm going to change it to timed competition project. And if you see autonomous time, 20, and operator control time is 254. What this is is seconds. So when you load the program that we're going to do, and we, we load it into the robot, when the robot establishes communication with the controller, the minute you push any button on the controller, it will start an on autonomous time. And it will run an autonomous subroutine for 20 seconds, after which time you can gain operator control with the control with the joystick, and then you can run your operator control time for 254 seconds. That's essentially how it would work in a VEX competition. Now, you see, once I've clicked OK, I've got my main program, my initialize, my where, where some words in there just uh, describing. I have my autonomous program, which is there's nothing in it at the moment, and then operator control program, which is nothing in it in the moment, and then back to the start page. Now. On here, autonomous and operator control. If you go back to the main, you can see here autonomous 20, operator control 254. Now, if I want to play with the autonomous program for a little while longer, I can come in here, change the argument to say uh, 35 seconds or 40 seconds or whatever the case may be, and um, click OK. And then it will come up and run for 35 seconds. And you can also go back in there and type a comment, uh, any, any comment you want in here, say robot run on something along these lines and just like in C programming forward slash forward slash and this is not this particular portion here is not read by the robot so that's how to get started and that's how these things work um, you don't need to put any jumpers or anything in the cortex you just go ahead uh, program it this way upload it to the robot it will run the autonomous routine first and then it will jump to the operator control if you didn't want the autonomous routine to run you could obviously just come in here and change it to zero which I still think it runs for one second only uh, and again, you can come in here and this is uh, adjustable as well. You can change it to wherever you want. So that's how you get started on that.